Hello. Yeah, it's very much in the Zoom. Uh, yeah, she's in the Zoom. She's not here, right? Okay, but there's one person just uh, message it to me, like, you fan. She, maybe she's six. She couldn't come here, but I just said, like, it's a group work, so you can send a presentation right now and you can present later on her, on her, on her part, but that's, that's what, that, that's fine. Okay, uh, this is assignment number one, and we go on the road for almost three weeks already. And right now, I want you all to present the timeline. The first timeline is about city development. Development. Secondly, tourism. And thirdly, is um, art design school, which is all of these three topics. Is came by the product you just brought out in last two weeks ago. And then after these presentations, you will see like, what is the strong get, what is the main point of timeline that changed the thought of idea during the design in Thailand. And by this year, right? I want you all to select one period of the year, maybe um, Kang think like, oh, 19, 21 is very something that interesting in your thought. So you will, we chose one year to have a time, just one year. So today I want you after, after we have the presentation from each group, I think you have to show us one year in your mind, then you think, oh, it's interesting, okay? Okay, start with group number one, city developments. You, can you come up and presentation? You can share it on Zoom and we can help. So you will use your computer to share it. So I, I, I think you have to mind, open your mind so people on Zoom can hear you as well. So I will... Uh, Uh, hello. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I will share my screen. So for our group, we found some topic from our own, own objective timeline. Mm -hmm. uh, so to, to find out about the uh, development the, the history of city development in Thailand. Then, uh, so we have uh, four things about, the one thing is a uh, raincoat, and uh, the second thing is a uh, motorcycle, and the third thing is uh, sun cream, and the last thing is mosquito repellent uh, spray. So we found some timeline from these products to do our city development, the timeline. Then the first thing is a uh, is a raincoat. Okay. Uh, we can see the raincoat is from the like the accent to right now. So we want to choose uh, about around one hundred years 
So it's from the, the, the main point is from the uh, 19th century to nowadays. Then we can see the jacket is from, it's made from the fabric. It's in the uh, ancient times. Then the people found some the river coat clothing has the waterproof Africa. So they do some of the bluffs, then they develop to the the like the raincoats in 1844. Then we can focus on right now. The right now is like the the, the, the nowadays about uh, 100 years we can find the waterproof clothes appearance in Thailand. Then then later like uh, uh, 1960 the raincoat made of uh, plastic then it's widely so popular in in Thailand and uh, nowadays we can see some of the uh, some raincoats is become the, like a uh, uh, vogue trend like uh, Balenciaga or the uh, Tate's Venet they also did the they also did some raincoat for the like uh, fashion clothing then oh I found some of the main, main points with the uh, and nowadays. From the development of all right. So uh, we can see the fashion centuries since like oh, <coughs> It's like uh, people, they are, uh, they are doing some of the factories in uh, very popular in that very serious and maybe to the 1960s. This is important. People, the Thai people, they are related to some workout or some Radio. Just like
So we can find from the information story of the late uh, 1960 to 1930, but I can find the 1930s. So it's around the 1920s and 1940s. And nowadays, the uh, 2010. Then the, we have, and the, I found, we found some of the, uh, the Chiang people's uh, traditional, traditional clothes. Then being some of the very important holidays in the world. <clears throat> the outfit is the uh, 92 nowadays. It's from, from some of the it's, it's have some developments like the um at 19th centuries. It's the uh, clothes and the hills and something. They are have a trend, trend in the uh, eastern countries ethics. Yes, but we, we divide the uh, the twenty development to the two topics, like the one for humans and the one for architectures. So me and Jennifer talking about the uh, uh, and um, we can say the nineteen sixties. The the they are have uh, some change of like the for your royal royal families to focus on the royal families, and uh, right now like. Have some written the, the data from energies. So it's a development of the closing changing. And so there is, I found some of the uh, urban planning from the, from the 19th century to nowadays. Like you have found from the map, map and uh, it's very. So I'm confusing for uh, watching the first map because the map is very nice and uh, I can't find anything about so like old town or or Chong Kong road something. But we can find the right now the road is not messing like uh, lost the time and uh, so some some like they planning about the old town and some green road. And uh, we can say from the 19, uh, 1893, and right now the road network is have some it have some planning, but the urban road didn't change, and just some just have some main areas from last time. And uh, also we have uh, we found some of the city developments. From the road, the development like the from old town, the first ring road, the second road, third ring road, from the human lifestyles and economic development. The first one is old town. The old town is from the past time to right now. There always the noise and many. Uh, past time things and spend time to do, to do things around here. And it's also the central area of the uh, uh, map. And uh, we can say the the mapping is the green light. First, you know, the main road and our university and also the airport. So from, from this, this Three place we can find the this place has a number of it can put in the living facilities. So, so this area of like economic development, many economic development, and the second ring out is two things. The blue ones is included the Central Festival and some of the international school around here also have many Nana Stairs villas. So it's a, 
like uh, uh, most of the foreign people like live here. So it's like the, for the living, the villa area. And the last is the third ring coat is uh, the purple one. The purple one is the first one. The Chiangmai place um, built of the foreign people's on their living circles and bounds to make some villa areas. So it's like uh, the development about economic and the life. Yeah. 
to identify and uh, show the organizers. And uh, at the second step, the, the, the waterfall scientific And then the aspect of actually the standard functions for interviews. And after the support of this, uh, which is the 1938 and the 1950 and 1980s. And uh, in this three parts, uh, we, uh, we, we can see the was And at first, around the thirty-eight people put the contract, but we had that open shoot for your post and hats and shoot, including and all parts. Who many wear And the big dance clothing is the face. Of nation and the that's directed around the and the educational and the and the street view of around the in this time let's see the issue in Thailand there are about And this is the I want the food. I'm the neighbor farm in the city. I just think it's good.
Uh, as you can see, like, the world is round. We don't divide the world like the target. So, um, can you uh, unmind yourself so I can see on my on my iPad so people in online can hear me. So, as you can see, like you mentioned, big period that divided from nineteen sixty something. That's like before 19, 1960 and after nineteen sixty. That is shown very interesting thing from the timeline, this is what I, I don't, I, I'm not sure you can see it, but I will share it online now. Yeah, okay. just share it on the screen, it's fine. Oh, it's on the, screen, on the screen already? No, not yet, I didn't see anything. Okay. I will share it. Oh, yeah. I just land from Bangkok, so that's what I'm fine today. Oh, that is fine. That's fine. As long as you and um, yesterday I go to Joji concert and my yesterday you went to Joji concert. Yeah, what? I'm jealous. And, and my wall is like cracking right now. Like it's so bad. My neck is so bad right now. Try your best. This is your choice, right? You went to the concert. You scream so loud, so you had no choice. That's your choice. I could help. <laughs> okay, yeah. is, uh, the screen that I just share that you yeah, can see, I, like you, 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 you present something on Shing Mai Map, which is interesting. But one thing I want you to mention is that they have the period before the factory, right? But it's not um, how to say like it's not the it domestic factory or not developed from craftsmanship, as you just see, like around 19th century, right? as you just mentioned, they have a lot happening here. But not just that far, we have World War II. World War II started at 1933, 
to 1945. This period is like all of the country have to be safe, have to be more um, security. So they, they just travel inside of their country. They develop something that called nationalism. So during the period, as you can see, the train station in Chiang Mai started in 1921. So this is the first train station. Chiang Mai uh, train station is the terminal from the north. It never connect to Chiang Rai. Even Chiang Rai is the up north. It's the last province on the north, but it never went to Chiang Rai. It ended up in Chiang Mai. So this is the terminal. It's just complete in 1921, right? And Air Force, it was built during the World War II, right? It's, a, it's the Air Force 41 in Thailand, right? It's landing in here. But later, after World War II, it become Air Force. So as you can see, like, this is the structure that this period tried to uh, colonize by, say, uh, by Bangkok, right? So this is the first period. And then they have a factory. A factory from 1940 to 1950 is not important. It's domestic. It's like um, the we 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 try to change the agriculture product to become a sugar. We do like from the agriculture field to become like a factory. So this period, 40 to 60, is not important. It's not important. But you change the city to become industrial. This is like so industrial, but in the type of the city. And one thing that that just mentioned, we have the first economic and social strategy plan on 1957. So like 1957 is like all of the city have to gain economic and social. So that is the first period that we have to have school, we have to have the bus stop, we have to have like the market. This is like the new era of modern. Later on, 1960, all of the things that fly to Thailand is import, right? Car factory, motorcycle factory, sunscreen, fashion. And this happened until 80. But I think the 80, you didn't mention strongly, but the 50 won't change. Right from the every I think every Asian country we talk a lot about 80, 80, 80s, right? Because as you can see, like 60, the the the, the players that were developed, it's just only in the the area between airport and uh train station and it all around whole city. But 80s, 80, we have we we have the first superstore, super, first super department store in Thailand called Central, which is abandoned already. And it's up here, right? And not just that, we have the first circle for 1988, uh, 98, because we will have like sea game. Have you heard about sea game? Yeah, the Southeast Asian sport game, sport. So we provide this to here. And then we have the first circle. And then the second ring road is just 2004. And 2008, we have the third ring road. And right now we build up the fourth ring road. And we will have a fifth ring road. But it's very, very, very weird because all the ring roads was straight to the mountain. It's never be round because it have to cut out by, 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 by the mountain. But all of these, I think, this is what I want to see. I, I, I think you work very hard about your individual topic. It's very nice. I, I couldn't agree more like all, all of these, but if you throw everything, at the same page, you can see like, this is a big period of Thailand, like before. Um, and during the World War II, we, we had to become like a central line as a one nations. And then after World War, we developed our own country by our own factories. And then sixthly, we have many import, even sunscreen, even the brand, even everything, cars, motorcycle, and 80s. 80s like the, everything turned to be shop house and modern. We have many districts in the 80s, like Gat Luang, Santitam, Changwa, it's all 80 district, right? It's all 80 district. And then 2010, I'm not sure that 
it, it mentioned during the, the, the passion period and also the sunscreen period, but I don't know what's happened here because you didn't draw it up. So this is your work. I think this is nice. So all of you have to think about this. This is uh, our class niching time life together. So no class will be like this. And I, I'm speaking of all the, class, all the group as well. Like if you just, oh, 1960 is really interesting. So you have to point out this, this year and show that one year. That is will be your topic for next, uh, next assignment. Thank you very much for group number one. Give them a big hand, guys. Okay, moving on to group number two, guys. Group number two. Are you ready? I think we run out of the time, but maybe group number three can present later in the next Tuesday. Okay, group number three. Can you can can you use it on I, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I want it as a good work, but I know that it's pretty hard to just bring up city development by from out of nowhere. So they try their best to buy out their, their own products, right? Like, but I want them to put all of these in the same case, like I like, like the thing. But but I think they all already discussed before, so it's more like you mentioned about 60, 60, 80 something people. But I want to see the same thing together. But let's like, put those three words, it's too nice as well. But if you want to add on, that's fine, that's fine. But you have to send the presentation today because today is the day that you present. Okay, come, you want to present? So we have Parima here as well. Um, oh, so this is a, oh, most of the group have four members, but just only the group number three you have three, right? Have three members. Okay. If you're ready, to, when you speak up, you have to open mic so people on Zoom can hear you, okay? Okay, so... Uh, our topic is about uh, the history of tourism in Thailand. And before we go into the history of tourism in Thailand, uh, we just w want to talk about, uh, you know, the topic of uh, entertainment, entertainment uh, in Thailand, why, like, why Thailand attract, attract people? Yeah. Okay, so when I do this one, yeah. I do one. And this part, uh, Tabby will introduce to you guys. Yep. So when I do this one, I just think about what is the attractions of tourism in Thailand. So I divide it in five parts. First is the temple. Second is the Muay Thai. Third is the elephant. Fourth is the culture. And fifth is the traditional. So you guys already know that temple is in Thai, we call it Wat. So the first one is Wat Rong Kun. No, in English as the white temple. It's actually not a temple at all or at least not anymore because they are already abandoned and ruined. The original Wat Rong Kun was adopted by a local artist in the 1990s, who then spent the next few years transforming in it into one of the most stunning privately owned art exhibition in the country. The main building of the temple complex is now a sort of art gallery, only exhibit accessible by crossing the bridge built over a pond, while some of the other buildings have been designed for the meditation and as training room and a learning center. And while the former temple is already stunning renovations, work hasn't stopped. And it's not except to be finished before 2020, 
the complete compound will consist of nine buildings, include living quarter for monks. So we just put top three uh, temple as an example. Next one is a Wat Arun Bangkok. Carl, please change the slide, please. So Wat Arun Bangkok is located in Bangkok, of course. Wat Arun, also known as the Temple of Dawn, sits on the bank of the Chao Phraya River. Dedicated to the Hindu god Aruna, Wat Arun is a particularly stunning sight in the earlier morning. Early morning, as the sunlight reflects on the temple walls, decor with Chinese porcelain fashioned into ornate flower petal and glass, mostly in the silver and reddish color. The temple is 70 meter tall, prong can be seen from the river and is one of the Bangkok most famous landmark. You can even access Wat Arun from the river by hopping on a water taxi on the other side of the river where Wat Pao sit, or Wat Po sit. Next is a century of truth Pattaya. This one is quite interesting because it's made of almost entirely of teak wood to look like a cross between a palace and a museum and a traditional Buddhist what the century of truth is the brainchild of a local artist called Mr. Lek Viriyapan who inspired by the ancient temple of Ayutthaya spent a couple of decades designed the structure until his death in the year 2000. Today, it's one of the top things to see in Pattaya. Still growing under the construction now the day, the building was always meant to be a place where philosophy, faith, and art meet and coexist. Both outside and inside the century, thousands of details, carving the medical creature details, disease and elephants adorned to the wall and to the hallway. Next is Muay Thai. Muay Thai, of course, everybody knows Muay Thai. They are Thai boxing and they are different from the boxing of foreigner. So I choose this one because like the foreigner always flew to Thailand to see the real Muay Thai and to see it in the show. So it started in late 20s to 21 century when the Western and partition from Thailand began competing in kickboxing and mixed rule matching as well as match under Muay Thai rules around the world, of course, around the world. The professional league is governed by the Professional Boxing Associate of Thailand. Next, the important part is elephants. Elephants have been a contribute to Thailand society and it's the icon of many centuries. The elephants has had the consider durable impact on the Thai culture. <coughs> Sorry, like the example when the kings around like 200 years ago, the kings when they travel, they will use the ele elephant to be like a car like now the day. Next. This one is quite interesting because it is in Chiang Mai. In Chiang Mai, we have the project called Elephant Freedom Project. In the Elephant Freedom Project, the, they offer the tourism to come and pay the fees, like thousand baht or something to have the unique experience while visiting the elephant sanctuary in Northern Thailand, Chiang Mai, of course. It visit ethical Thailand elephant tour as part of a small group for an unforgettable intimate adventure 
with the elephants in their natural surrounding, also refrain for for again in the forest. Like they took them to shower, feeding them and play with them, but not riding them because riding the elephant is harm the elephants. Next is a culture. So the culture in Thailand is quite important because culture in Thailand is quite unique, but mostly all over Asian culture is quite the same. And Thailand got a lot of culture from Indian, Chinese, Burmese, Khmer, and other Southeast Asian influence are still in, in <coughs> evidence in the traditional Thai culture. Buddhism, Anism and Westernizations also play a significant role in shaping the modern culture. Next is the traditional of Thailand. I put three examples of the traditional Thailand, the top three that are quite beautiful. First, that the most famous is Loi Gatong. Loi Gatong is a Thailand festival celebrate annual throughout Thailand and in nearby country with significant Southwestern Thai culture. The name could be translated as Lagatong to float ritual waste or lamp and come from the traditional of make, making kratong or boyon, decorate basket which, which uh, then float on the river Many Thai use the kratong to thank the goddess of water, Prame Kongha, or the worship the Buddhist hair, Pagoda in heaven. The festival traced in origin back to India. So when we why we make a tong, we use the baitong. Baitong is like a big leaf and the on the banana tree because we thought like it's important to us and make it like in the picture on the right side and we light up the fire on the candle and sometimes we put the coin or some money in it to to like separate the Pame Kung Ka. Next please. Next is Yi Peng Lantern, a uh, paper hot air and this one is quite beautiful. It's a hot air balloon that are released into the night sky. The result is nothing short of the memorizing with hundred, if not the thousand of lantern dotting the English Daryl Sophia. But right now, nowadays, we're not doing this anymore. Just like only less or few people doing this because like we have a lot of accident that the lantern just floating by and going to someone's house roof. Next, please. This one is called Ghost Mask Festival or Pai Tha Khun. Legend has it that Bu <coughs> Buddha was a prince in one of his past lives. The prince embarked on a long journey and was presumed to be dead. Long story short, he, turned, he returned to his kingdom alive and there was a great celebration since the Ghost Mask Festival to Paita Kon has continued every year since. So if you look at the picture, you can see the tourists come to take a picture with the ghost mask and they found out it's quite interesting, like the foreign for the foreigner. Yeah. Thank you for my part. Uh, so the timeline we separate uh, by our group. Uh, the first point is uh, 19, 1960, 1960 mm -hmm. and it's about uh, the, the Cold War and uh, is the beginning of the we 
our group consider uh, 1960 is the beginning of uh, tourism industrial uh, in Thai. And next one is uh, 1979, uh, which is represent the uh, the Thai authority uh, introduced the like, new policy very important to for the tourism in Thai. And then 1995, and then 1997, which is the Asia uh, economy crisis. And then to the 1998, and then to the 2000, 2000, which is the uh, a key point, like uh, the booming of the Thai economy, I think. And then uh, to 2013, which is uh, there's a movie called uh, Lost in Thai and produced um, uh, it w which is a Chinese movie and then uh, because this movie influenced a lot uh, the tourism industrial in Thai and we will talk about it later and then uh, another point is uh, 2000, uh, 2020, which is the uh, pandemic uh, happened in, in Thailand, I think. And then it's uh, post-pandemic era 2022. Uh, it's uh, it's a uh, like re really interesting chart. Our our group from on the internet. It's uh, showing from the nineteen sixty to like two thousand fifteen. Uh, the the population of the visitors comes every year to Thailand. And as you can see, uh, before 2010, before 2010, the growth is uh, very smooth and a little bit slowly, I think, every year. But since I think as a 2010, it, it goes rapidly and very, Incredible. And I just want to mention people get lost. I think it's the range of the from this. You can see the the It's all about the patients we have this crisis. But this one, you see, it's more like the same. Around 2008, I think there's another economic crisis. Right? Yeah. Hamburg, and uh, so we, we we're going to the details of the timeline. Uh, first is a uh, 1960 the Cold War, and uh, at that year uh, the Cold War happened. So, uh, so every nation have to pick a side between, you know, yeah, between. So, 
Um, yeah, so as an ally of uh, USA, um, so Thailand offered the land for the airport. Yeah. Right. So, so the US helped a lot to the building infrastructure and we developed a lot the you know the roads the uh, electricity things like that yeah. In this period of time, belong to the mutual insurance of the United States. And in 1995, for promoting the sport chain, and they come up with the free exchange of currency. And in this time, Thailand economic is so, and the free of the economic is sweet in consumption a country is And uh, next one is uh, 2013, uh, which is about uh, the movie Lost in Thailand. Uh, it's a Chinese movie, and I remember at that time, uh, this movie it is uh, is very impressed about the box office office uh, sold. Uh, uh, it's like uh, twelve one point three billion of uh, of uh, box office. So actually, it means 
like every Chinese watch this movie, basically. Um, so that's the reason why uh, the chart showing before, like big, rapidly uh, growth of population of visits in time. And then next, uh, next period of time is 2020. 2020, which is, uh, everyone knows, is the pandemic uh, breakout. So tourism, the tourism industry is really important to Thailand. Uh, it's occupied, like, I think it's 20, right? G GDP of Thailand. So uh, when pandemic happened, as you can see, the the data and the picture, the airport is no no one in the airport. But uh, before the it, it, there are full of people in the airport, this international airport, and yeah. And then it's uh, 2022, uh, the post-pandemic era, which is uh, a new key point of time. Uh, the Thailand tried to uh, try to open the gate to welcome uh, the visitors all around the world. And and it's uh, it's welcome over seven million foreign tourists uh, from the January to the October in in that year. But compared with the with with the data, uh, this number actually is. Uh, just the same as, uh, I think it's the same as uh, the data of uh, 2000, around 2000. Uh, some teachers would like to come down and uh, 
后后面白老师工作。It just mentioned two things, which is claim from the central Thai back to the period Sukhothai, Thai, right? Sukhothai Thai is very first Thai empire, which is like they used to refer as a festival, like like a Tongyi thing. All of this is is back to the original from Sukhothai Thai and also Muay Thai. It's from Ayutthaya elephant as well. Muay Thai elephant was claimed, which is uh, it was produced in the Ayutthaya in 20 centuries, right? But they back, right? They reborn again in uh, later from 60s to, to 90s. And all of this become the first picture of Thai tourism. They claim for the, the, from the past, which is they erase from the regions. We never talk about North, South, uh, Northeastern. We never speaking of like all the place, but we just back to the central Thai. It's always back to Central Thai. And it's very produced very much later in 1960 to 1990s, right? All around these, right? We use the old asset to promote like old house, which is like the, from the center of Thailand and also Pattaya. But in 90s, in 90s, it's very interesting because we come up with the campaign, Amazing Thailand, right? And also we have like the tourism uh, organization, which is like, is produce the new 
package of tourism of Thailand, right? So from this period, we have many much about the cultural products like the Thai costume, the everything which is to be called Thai. But interestingly, in 2013, Thai never promote as a cultural city, but we use subculture, guy from the theme, right? Which is like uh, the lot in Thailand is the is the very good sample for, for uh, promote Thailand, especially not just only Bangkok, but all around Thailand, especially in Chiang Mai as well. Promote in the subculture way. We didn't come to Thailand for riding elephant, for go to the Arun Temple. We come to Thailand for eat noodle, for travel around the market, right? We promote Thailand in the new pictures later on as a subculture. And from subculture, we can do more, right? So this is like the, the timeline that we, that we uh, make up together and it's pretty nice. And for the last topic, I, want to, I, I just want to mention that the, the, the last section, maybe you, know, uh, could, you couldn't see well, but I'm talking about architectures. You can see like before we have the, the industrial life, like up, uh, during the 40s, we have factories, we have industrial, right? We have to live in wooden house. And wooden house is related to the tea uh, trade in uh, 19th centuries. And then we're promoting old temple, right? But later on, once we have industrialized, we have to live more modern. House become a shop house. How become like the concrete, the construction house. And then 90, 90s, not just only the big temple, the grand palace temple will be promoted, abandoned temple like white temple in Chiang Rai. Artists renovate the old temple to become like the signature one. And also like the temple can be conceptualized more than just religious one, but it's become any uh, secret way or many like uh, beautiful spaces instead of uh, protect the old culture. So this is interesting about the architecture as well, like the architecture will change as well. So we run out of the time and I think group number three, you can present on the next Tuesday. And I think this is very interesting data and very really nice. Kudos to you was, uh, could we give them a big hand, please? Yeah. Thank you very much. And um, I see you back on Tuesday. Okay, thank you very much. I'm so sorry, I draw a so crazy message here, but I think it's very important. Oh, oh, one thing, one thing, guy. I just saw from the from the from the from the map. This is like the in, inside the old house, right? We had old city hall here, but we moved the old city hall out in 1998. So that's why all around the old city become the tourism from 1998 which is the year that we have campaign Amazing Thailand. So right now, all city all around the tourism spot, and we move the government, move the everything out to the first ring road and second ring road on the, on the north. Thank you, everyone. I think this is awesome. And we learned together from your topic. Nice. See you guys on Tuesday. I will be late for sure. They have no meeting before, sorry. See you.